Hello beautiful humans and welcome to the very first inaugural episode of Daily J. I am so excited you're here and I'm so freaking pumped to be sharing these live videos with you. I've decided to make this a daily practice because one, I absolutely love sharing updates with you guys about what's happening in my life and two, I have just so much juicy content and wisdom and information and insights and downloads to share with you guys that doing weekly videos just is not enough anymore. I really want to consolidate it all to this one particular like stream and avenue and then just link these back to my YouTube channel and my Instagram and have little snippets on Facebook and I really just want to have a consolidated place for all of this beautiful content that wants to flow through me into the world and this is the vehicle and this is the method that just feels the most authentic and the most genuine and just the most amazing for me right now. So I'm so excited you're here. If we haven't met before, I'm Jay and it's just such a pleasure to meet you and to be on this amazing journey with you. These videos are going to be pretty quick between probably 5 and 15 minutes long and I'm going to jump on every single day and post something that's been coming up for me, give you guys updates into what's been happening in this wild and wonderful crazy life that I'm currently <laughs> journeying through at the moment and together we're going to change the world. We're going to get lit the fuck up and we are going to connect on an even deeper level with ourselves, with our higher power and with this beautiful planet that we call home. So get excited. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about asking for help. And this is something that comes up a lot for me in sessions with clients. For those of you that don't know, I do life coaching. Um, something that comes up a lot for me with my clients is this idea of like, this limiting belief around asking for help. And one of the biggest limiting beliefs that I come across in my clients is this idea that they can't ask for help, that they have to do everything by themselves, that they have to journey through life as a lone wolf, as a solo traveler on like this their own mission without reaching out and without helping or asking for help from the people around them. And if you guys are anything like me, like I used to be to the point where I would literally rather sleep on the street than ask someone if I could sleep on their couch or ask someone if I could, you know, share their bed or, you know, have a meal with them or, you know, ask for help in my business. Like I struggled and I strived and I did it by myself and I did it alone for so long because I was so terrified of reaching out and asking for help. I had all these limiting beliefs and ideas that asking for help meant that I was weak, that asking for help meant that I couldn't figure it out, that I wasn't smart enough, that I didn't have my shit together, that you know I wasn't good enough. Like it all boiled down to this idea that I thought that I wasn't good enough if I asked for help from another person. And it really took me stepping back and identifying that actually the people that are the most successful in the world are the people that know how to ask for help. They're the people that are really freaking good at asking for help. And I think one of the reasons any any level of success that I've managed to achieve in my life has been because now, has been now because I'm so good at asking for help. Like it's literally my first port of call if I'm ever stuck in my business, in my relationship, in my personal life, whatever it is, I'm so good at asking for help. So I really wanted to share with you guys like why it's so important, how I can ask for help so easily and like a couple of examples from my own life where I just literally could not have gotten through it if I had not have asked for help in that moment. So probably the biggest example for me, you guys, was like when I was living out of a suitcase like this time last year. And I literally got to a point in my life where I was faced with a decision or I was faced with the ultimatum of either like asking for help and asking if I could crash on people's couches, stay with people for a little while, house sit for people while they're away or completely like losing everything that I'd fought so hard to build. So having to face like that choice or like going back to a nine to five job, going back to working for someone else, going back to doing something that totally didn't light my soul on fire. And it wasn't until I was faced with that ultimatum of like you either do this and you get over like the fear and the ego and the whatever it is that's blocking you and you reach out and ask for help and you learn how to receive help from others or you completely lose everything that you've worked so hard to build. So it wasn't until I was faced with that choice that I realized the power in actually reaching out and asking for help. And the thing is, you guys, the reason that I can ask for help or the reason that I didn't ask for help for like for so long is because I wasn't completely sold on my intentions. I wasn't completely clear on just how pure and just how true and just how good my intentions for this planet were. And what really brought it home for me, I was having a conversation with my own coach one day and she said to me, do you think Mother Teresa ever had any qualms about asking strangers 
for help on her mission and throughout her entire life. And it really hit home for me because I was like, well, of course not. And of course, like who the hell wouldn't want to help someone that was on that mission? And I'm in no way comparing my journey to Mother Teresa's or and like not drawing any comparisons like that. But when you are so certain, when you are so secure, when you are so sure and what it is that you're doing and your mission and purpose and the validity of it and the purity of your intentions, it becomes so easy. It's almost like a natural progression to reach out to other people and invite them to be a part of that because you know that you're taking them somewhere great. You know that you're going somewhere amazing. You know that your purest and highest intention is to serve the world and to serve the planet. And in order to do that, you need to enlist the help of other people. So it becomes like this natural progression to then invite people into that, to then ask people for help and support on your journey, to invite them to be a part of something, knowing that it's going to be of service to the planet, knowing that it's going to be of service to humanity, knowing that it's going to be of service to the people that are helping you at the end of the day. And often you guys like, the biggest thing that I struggled with initially was asking for help from the divine because one, I didn't believe that I would get it, two, I didn't trust that I was worthy of it, and three, I didn't really know how to ask. And the thing that I've learned that's probably been the most instrumental upon like this journey and learning to ask for help is that the way that the divine helps us is through other people. God is not going to just deposit $5 million into your bank account. God is not going to drop a house in the middle of the street on the block of land that you've decided that you want it to be on. The way that the divine serves us, the way that the divine answers our prayers and gives us the help that we request, and when I say the divine, I mean God, I mean the universe, I mean your higher power, your higher self, source, whatever you want to call it. The way that God serves us and helps us and answers our prayers is through other people. So the natural progression is then when we ask for help from God, when we pray, when we lift up our requests and prayers and visions to the universe, we then look for or be open to receiving that help coming in the form of other people. And sometimes, like you guys, it'll be in a conversation that I have with a friend. It'll be in a friend offering for me to sleep on, to crash on her couch. It'll be someone offering to cook me a meal when I'm like super hungry or whatever it is. These are the ways in which God serves us and God helps us and God supports us and the way that we build faith the way that we build trust the way that we open those lines and build that beautiful relationship and communication like based on communication with the divine is by asking for help and then receiving it through other people and the biggest thing that I had to learn and the most important thing I think that I tell all of my clients is being open to receiving help. How good do you feel when you have the opportunity to help someone else? How good does it feel when someone asks you for help and you like they ask you for something that you are waiting to give, a gift that just feels so natural for you to give them? How good does it feel when you can be the light and the presence of God in the life of another? Now imagine denying someone that privilege. Imagine denying someone that joy. Imagine denying someone that opportunity to serve you because it's exactly what you're doing when you when you don't ask for help when you don't reach out when you don't put your hand up and say you know what I could actually use some assistance here and I'm not just talking about in your business you guys like I'm talking about when you need help when you need not just advice or guidance but when you need money when you need food when you need um, like literal presence like if you need someone to come over to your house when you need help like washing you know doing your washing or whatever it is like it could be the tiniest little thing or the biggest thing like asking for a loan from a family member or a friend it's like when you deny when you deny that urge or that desire within you to ask for help from someone else you're denying them the opportunity to give you what it is that they're here to give and to give you what it is that is going to set their heart completely on fire so the next time you feel held back from asking for help, the next time you freak out about, am I worthy of it? Do I deserve this? Am I, are they gonna think I'm weak or not good enough or that I can't hack it on my own? Let's just stop for a second and think about being on the receiving end of that request. Someone that, there's so much that comes into play here, you guys, with boundaries and who we ask and how it's received and all of that sort of stuff. That's a whole nother video. But just for a moment, think about how good it feels to be on the receiving end of a request, knowing that you have something to offer the person in front of you. And then knowing how good it feels to be the giver, imagine how good it feels to receive. And it's this beautiful yin and yang. We'll have opportunities throughout our lives, throughout our days and weeks and months to both give and to receive. But the beautiful thing is that the more that we allow ourselves to receive from others, 
the more that we can give in return. And this goes for asking for help in our business, this goes for asking for help in our relationship, this goes for inviting people into, you know, the deepest, darkest parts of ourselves and helping, like, helping us to make sense of our shadows and navigating the tumultuous and uncertain times in our life. There are so many opportunities, there are so many avenues, there are so many chances every single day for us to reach out and ask for help. The only question is, are you gonna have the courage to do it? And are you going to have the good sense, because that's what it comes down to you guys, it's common sense. The answer that you've been waiting for, the answer to your prayers, the answer to that thing that's been bugging you for so freaking long could be waiting on the other side of asking for help. There could be a message, and I cannot tell you the amount of times that a message from the divine has been channeled through one of my girlfriends. I've asked her a question about my love life, my dating life, my business, whatever it is, and something has just come through her, the most divine advice and guidance that I've ever received, because God was just waiting for me to ask, to open up the channel, to have that conversation, to invite him into this conversation. And that's how I received the answer to my prayer. That's how I got the help that I needed. That's how I was able to take that next step in my business or move forward with clarity because I asked for help and I opened myself to receive it wherever it was. So don't wait until you're in that situation where it's like rock and a hard place. I either ask for help or lose everything that I've worked so hard to build. The answer that you're waiting for, the answer to your prayers is literally on the other side of asking for help from someone else so go out there world changes go for it don't be afraid to open up don't be afraid to ask for help and always 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 know that you are worthy of opening yourself up to receive whatever it is that the universe wants to give you thank you so much for tuning into this video i'm so grateful you're here and it's just such an honor to be changing the world alongside you guys right now have the best day ever and i will see you tomorrow for another episode of daily jay